anion size. Cations lose electrons. Therefore, the atomic radius decreases. To figure out why, we need to figure out our protons and electrons for these atoms and ions. Lithium has three protons and three electrons. Lithium ion, three protons, two electrons. Sodium, 11 protons, 11 electrons. Sodium ion, 11 and 10. And potassium has 19 and 19 and 19 and 18. Notice that when a cation loses an electron, it now has more protons than electrons. Pulling those electrons in, making it smaller. So the more protons to electrons, the smaller the radius is going to become. Anions gain electrons. Therefore, the atomic radius increases. Fluorine has nine protons, nine electrons. Fluorine ion has nine protons, 10 electrons. Fluorine 17, 17. And finally, bromine. We notice on the bottom, fluorine almost doubles in size because it gains an electron. So the more electrons to protons you have, the bigger the atomic radius, because the protons do not have as big of a pull on the electrons. We have more electrons to protons. You can kind of think of it as the protons being the parents and the electrons being the children. If you have more children to adults, the children are going to wander off further than if you had more parents to ch children. So which would be larger, aluminum atom or aluminum ion? Aluminum ion is positive three. And remember that positive ions are always smaller than what make them up. Go ahead and pause the video and try this one on your own. Fluorine ion is negative. Fluorine atom, no charge. Negative is always larger than what made it up. And try this last one. So this one, we have O negative 2 and S negative 2. Those are not the same element. So to figure out which one's larger, you have to figure out what atom has the same number of electrons as that ion. So O negative 2, here's oxygen. If it is a negative 2, that means it gained 2 electrons. So it should have the same number of electrons as neon. Because it was 8, it gained 2, making it 10 electrons. Sulfur had 16 electrons, and it gained 2. So it should be the same as argon's number of electrons. Now we just compare. Neon and argon. Argon is bigger because it has more energy levels. So sulfide ion is larger than oxide ion. Finally, isoelectronic deals with a group of ions all containing the same number of electrons. So O negative 2, so oxygen has 8. If it's a negative 2, remember it has 10, which is the same as neon. Fluorine minus one has nine electrons, so it gains one, but also has 10 electrons, making it have the same number as neon. Na plus one, sodium started with 11, but it lost an electron, giving it 10, so that's the same as neon. Magnesium plus two has 10, and aluminum, if it loses three, it has 10 electrons. So all of these ions have 10 electrons. So for isoelectronic ions, the more positive it is, the smaller it is. The more negative, the larger it is. We can see that in the picture. Our negative 2 is the largest. 
aluminum plus three is the smallest. So if they contain the same number of electrons, the easiest way is to figure out what element it has the same number of electrons as. These all had the same as neon. You also could just figure out how many electrons. These all had 10. If they have the same number of electrons, the more negative it is, the bigger, positive, the smaller. So I'm going to place these in an order of increasing size. The first thing you want to do is figure out what element has the same number of electrons as these ions. So if chlorine gains one, it's going to be the same as argon. Aluminum, if it loses three, one, two, three, it becomes the same as neon. Phosphorus, if it gains three, It becomes the same number as argon. Magnesium loses two. And sodium loses one. First off, are these elements isoelectronic? If you said no, you are correct. B, D, and E are isoelectronic with each other. And A and C are isoelectronic with each other. So if I want increasing, first I want the smallest ones. So I look at a neon and argon, neon is smaller. And now I can look at my isoelectronic and say the most positive is the smallest. So aluminum plus three. Now I'm gonna look at my argon ones and chlorine minus one and P minus three. So in this case, if you just went positive to most negative, you would have gotten the right answer, but that's not necessarily correct. Had there been a fluorine minus one in there, fluorine minus one is the same as neon, or I should say has the same number of electrons as neon. And so that would actually fit in right here. Okay, go ahead and arrange the following elements in order of decreasing size. Restart when you have your answer. Beryllium plus two has the same number as helium. Magnesium, neon. Calcium, argon. And strontium, krypton. So first off, these are not isoelectronic. So we're just ranking them in order of decreasing size. The biggest one would be krypton or strontium plus two, then calcium plus two, and finally beryllium. 